I'm a full-time content creator. I do trans educational videos. You guys here, especially where I live, are not aware of what being trans is. They think it's like a man in a wig or something. I was depressed growing up and I never felt really happy. As soon as I knew what being trans was, I knew that was me and I was in the wrong body. Hi guys, national coming out day was a few days ago. So I'm gonna say my coming out story. When I came out as trans, I lost 50,000 followers on social media. I was really shook. All the hate I got and the followers I lost didn't really do anything to my goal to educate people because I know how it saved my life and it could save a lot more people's lives. You can see that being trans is normal and it's not a preference. Today I'm gonna talk to my dad about the whole transition and how he felt in the beginning because he was not 100% accepting back then. What was it about me being trans that bothered you? So I don't actually um, eat until 4 p.m. because the estrogen I take makes me gain weight really fast. So I do smoothies every morning. So trans girls are born with the wrong body. So when we look at ourselves, we don't see the reflection that we are supposed to see. I was depressed growing up and I never felt really happy. I would always question what was wrong with me. I was constantly looking for clues and answers as to what to do. So one day I went on YouTube and I was scrolling through and I found a girl that was transgender and I was so fascinated by it something talked to me so i watched the whole video and after that video i knew that i wanted to start hormones i wanted to get the surgery i wanted to transition fully it was like a, a light switch flicked in my head i saw how just a video can change someone's life so that's when i decided to start helping others and that's what i'm doing now this is my studio where i do my makeup for tiktoks and youtube and today I'm getting ready for a photo shoot. I'm a full-time content creator. I do trans educational videos on YouTube and I do small little comedy videos on TikTok. I first started getting a following on social media when I started playing around with makeup. I used to do small tutorials and I would post my looks and people would follow me for makeup advice. I actually got into makeup videos when I first started transitioning. I would watch a lot of tutorials on how to do makeup and I got pretty good at it. I started doing YouTube on how to do makeup and feminize your face to help with your transition. I started hormone replacement therapy at 16 years old and I still remember the day I took my first blocker. I was so happy and it was the start of a great life. Okay, I'm ready. Hi. Hey. What's up? What? Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, me too. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, you? Good, thanks. When I came out as trans to my followers, I was excited and I thought that I would get a very positive response, but I totally got the opposite and I was really shook. A lot of people were saying that I would never be a girl, that I fooled them for following me and not telling them, which is kind of crazy. I started getting a lot of hate and that's when I realized that I was not going to get a positive reaction. It was very depressing and I saw that my numbers were going down pretty fast. I lost 50,000 followers. I deleted all social media on my phone and I took about like I think maybe five months six months of a break and then after those months i was like you know what let me gain that following that i lost back with good people and build a following with people that i'm proud to call my supporters my online content definitely became more educational and trans related and i didn't know what trans was but then when i found out what being trans was i was like oh my god that's me i was there to educate people and help people and it's so important for some people that are going through so much of a hard time they can see that being trans is normal and it's not a preference 
When I told my family I was trans, I think I did it individually. So I told my sister first and she was like, I fully support, I understand. My mom was supportive as well. When I explained to my parents what I would have to do to transition, my mom's biggest concern was always health-wise if um, HRT would affect my health and the surgeries, um, you know, with anesthesia and everything. I was so scared of my dad's reaction though because my my dad back then was very close-minded. There wasn't a moment really that we thought she'd be gay or transgender or anything like that. As a toddler, she really enjoyed playing with more feminine toys, but to us, I mean, it was, you know, there was no big deal. So we never knew at that time that she could be transgender or anything. Hello, Papa. Hey, How are you? I'm good. How was your day? Oh, awesome, yes. So today I'm gonna talk to my dad about the whole transition and how he felt in the beginning because he was not 100% accepting back then. I actually have a few questions that I never asked him before. So how did you feel when I first came out? Well, I was surprised, but um, at first I thought it was just a phase. And then you kept on talking to your mom about it. She was telling me, this is for real, it's not a phase. Did you understand or did you believe me? At first, When I was really. wearing hoodies to school every day. No, that, like I said earlier, it's, it's really when your mom told me. Yeah. And even then, it didn't catch on right away. She had to tell me and tell me again every couple of weeks. And then eventually she told me like solid, like, you know, it's not going to change. This is it. What was it about me being trans that bothered you or made you uncomfortable at first? Was it the surgeries or like the things I had to go through? Yeah, that would be for sure the main thing concerning your health. I know your mom had a good point, you know, that you might be in trouble living uh, with hormones. With hormones and all yeah. that. So do you fully accept me now? Of course I do, yeah. Yes. I mean, many years ago, I didn't just start now accepting you. As soon as it wasn't a new thing that you came out, Yeah. Uh, I accepted it right away. Thank you so much for accepting me. It means the world to me that you're supporting me. Mm -hmm. It's my pleasure. We, Your mom and I both love you very much and we're very happy for you. Talking with my dad was amazing. I think he did give me the answers I was hoping for. It even exceeded my expectations. What Adia taught me with being a trans woman is that it needs a lot of courage on her hand. I think she's doing a wonderful job. I do feel protective over her. She's my daughter now. My hopes and dreams for the future would be to definitely reach out more people and have a bigger platform. And I definitely want to step into the modeling world because there's not enough trans actresses. Maybe someone's gonna see that person on TV and it's gonna save their whole life. An advice I would give to other trans women would be to be yourself and never compare yourself to others and others transition. Everyone's different. You're going at your own pace and that's what is so beautiful about it.